Let's start with hair care because the things I have obviously the most are hair care and skin care. Very little makeup. I just don't go through makeup enough because I'm using stuff new all the time. But let's start with that. This has been one of my OG originals and it's from OGX. This is the Bamboo Fiber Full Root Boosting Spray Mousse. I love this. I absolutely would buy it again. I have other ones I need to go through, but this is a really good mousse and probably I like it the most because of its delivery. It's got this little nozzle right there that makes it so easy to just lift up and spray right along the hairline and then be able to just keep separating your hair and get the mousse exactly where it's supposed to be because it's a root booster. So love this, absolutely would buy it again. I'm editing this video here that you guys are watching and I'm talking about this mousse and I cannot find it to link it. I went to go find it to grab the picture and to put it on the video itself. I don't think they're selling it anymore. I can't find it anymore at least. I mean, maybe if I went into Ulta, I could find it, but I can't find it on their website. I can't find it on the OGX website. I can't find it on Amazon. I'm sad. I am going to look at Walmart and Target, but I bet you it's discontinued. I'm so sad. Okay, I went through a dry shampoo. This is from Glam Squad, GSQ Glam Squad Dry Shampoo. This was good. I liked this. I'm almost positive this is from a CVS brand. It has rice protein in it, and I think this is a good dry shampoo. I would absolutely buy this again. I bought this for when I did the video to see if I actually had curly or, or very, very wavy hair. Bumble and Bumble BB Curl 3-in-1 Conditioner. This is really a good conditioner. Whether you want curly hair or not, I mean, I didn't try to keep my hair curly. You guys know I don't do that very often. This is a very good conditioner. Loved this. All right, I have two shampoos. One is the Verb Coast shampoo, and there is a conditioner that goes with this. I'm still using it. I go through shampoo, obviously, a lot more. I loved this shampoo. I liked it because it, it's the ghost part of it. Ghost means it's very, very light. You don't even know it's on your hair. It's, it's not gonna weigh your hair down. This worked great. I loved it. I don't remember the scent. Oh yeah, nice scent. It's not like over flowery. I don't like flowery scent. It's just a clean scent and that I really like. I also got the Shea Moisture Hydrate and, Sh and Repair Shampoo. This was okay. I don't remember being like over the top with it. This, the, oh, it's gross on the outside. The scent is kind of flowery that I don't like. So, I mean, this was okay. I doubt I would buy it again, but it's not like I'm like never buy it again. It's just I don't know, it was okay. Finally used up the City Beauty Invisa Crepe, Invisa Crepe Body Balm. It was okay. I, I just didn't think it did anything that was amazing. I don't know. I felt like it was just a glorified moisturizer, so I would not buy this again. Got on to the Hum website. They were having a sale, and I did get a few different um, vitamins and supplements. This is their fan club, multi-symptom menopause relief from hot flashes and more. I do think that this did help with hot flashes. Now I'm not getting hot flashes anywhere near as much because I'm on HRT, hormone replacement therapy now, and that's making a world of difference. So I'm not taking this anymore. Um, I shouldn't say that. I have some that I'm still taking because I had some extra bottles. This is a subscription plan where you're going to get things sent to you. I, I'm, I don't know. I struggle with subscription plans because I feel like all of a sudden they show up at your door and I'm like, how did that happen? Email was sent saying this will be shipped soon. And I went, oh no, stop it. So I went immediately, as soon as I got the email, I went immediately to their website and I said, stop it. Don't send it. And they said, I'm sorry, too late. I'm like, well, why did you send me an email then telling me that it was coming soon if it's actually already sent? So that annoyed me. I'm like, I don't know. I do think that this did help with hot flashes, 
but it annoyed me their whole shipment thing. So I don't think I'm going to go back to Hum. I wouldn't negate it totally. Maybe it's my own fault. I don't know, but not a fan of the shipment thing, but I'm a pretty good fan of the actual product. Okay. Deodorant. If you'll notice something, all of these have deodorant <laughs> left. All of them have actually a decent amount of deodorant. Something changed in my chemistry. I used to use secret. These are all different kinds of secret. Well, this is suave. These are both secret. I used to buy these all the time for years. They worked fine. I don't have a big sweating problem. <laughs> TMI moment. Apparently my chemistry changed and these stopped working. I literally would put it on and that night I'm like, why do I hate that sticky feeling where you just feel like it's wet and oh, I mean, I wasn't smelly because the deodorant part was still working, but the antiperspirant part, which I, I was like, these are antiperspirant, right? I finally came up with what I need and I literally just got it. It's worked great. I've only used it a couple days, so I will let you know in the long run, but this is clinical strength secret. This is the 24 hour soft solid. My only issue with this is the packaging. Because of my arthritis, it's hard for me to turn this thing. Like that thing's really hard to turn. Like I can't squeeze things. So I have to use like a washcloth to get a grip. You're supposed to do two clicks. So that's my only gripe is the packaging is really hard to turn with my arthritis but the product inside it is actually working well. I don't know, does your chemistry change that much where deodorant stops working? So sadly, I'm throwing these out even though, you know, obviously you can't give this to somebody, gross. Two cleansers. This has been a staple in my arsenal for a long time. This is the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. I love this. I would buy it again forever, except it's so stinking expensive. And for something that you're using every day, I just have a hard time swallowing that cost. So I have officially switched to Clean It Zero. This is their the biggest one. This is the cleansing balm, the original one, it says. I love this. It's You get so much in this. It does have a scent to it. So that's one part I'm not thrilled about, but it's a very light scent. Although I'll tell you, my daughter doesn't like the scent. I don't mind it. I think it's clean smelling. That's an advantage of this, but the difference in cost, I will put the differences so you guys can see the difference in the cost. Oh my, so much cheaper and works just as good. This is the Eucerin Urea Repair Moisturizer. I went through three of them and I have I, two or three in my backup drawer. This was game changing as far as I'm concerned for moisturizers. I think this works great. Urea is one of those things that I have found last winter that really made a difference in my moisturizer. Okay, I think that I threw one away of this, but this is from Agency. I love this brand. I've partnered with them. This video is not sponsored in any way. I just love their brand. These are the dark spot formulas that I use morning and night. And this is my future formula, which I use only at night. And then there was another one. I must have thrown it away. You get them sent to you every two months. And I really love these. I obviously am continuing to use them. I think it's an amazing skincare brand. I did go through a CeraVe PM. I like this for when I get right out of the shower and I'll put this on. It's a very um, lightweight moisturizer, especially in the winter. I will use this. I'll put this in my thing right next to the shower. And when I get out, I just do a real light coat so that my skin doesn't have time to evaporate the moisture that I just put on it from being in the shower. And then it gives me time to go do stuff I need to do before I get my skincare done. So I will definitely re be repurchasing this again. Two SPFs that I went through, CeraVe PM, this, no, not PM, CeraVe Ultra Light Moisturizing Lotion. This is an SPF of 30. I wish it was 50, but I do love this 
SPF. I really do. I think it's one of my absolute favorites. I will purchase and I have purchased. I have one that I'm using now and one is in my backup drawer. I will pretty much always have this. All right, I love to be self-tanned. So this is one that I have used many years. I will put this on when I get out of the shower. That's what it is. It is activated by water. And while your skin is still wet, you put this on, but it will also slightly tan your skin. It's not gonna give you a deep tan, even though it's called medium to medium to tan skin tones. And it also says firming. I, I don't see it firming. Of course, I have a lot to firm. <laughs> so maybe I'm expecting way too much out of it, but I do like it for the moisture and I like it for a little bit of color on my skin. If I want to get a deeper color, I will go for the Jergens Natural Glow. This is again firming. Don't think it firms. Medium to deep skin tones. You're not going to get a deep tan. You're just not. And right now I don't have anything on. Like I need to. I usually like to self tan all winter, all fall, all year round. I just have been lazy. I have already repurchased. I have one in my backup drawer. Love this product. I will tell you, I don't feel like it has to be Jergens. I've bought Targets, I've bought CVSs. I don't really care anymore. I think they all are pretty much are just as good as the Jergens one. I did buy the May Love the Hydrator. I didn't see a massive difference. I, I mean, it was okay, but I honestly didn't see this massive difference in hydration on my skin. And this is actually kind of pricey. So I probably will not, unless it's on sale or something, I probably will not purchase this again. I struggle with calluses on my feet so badly until I started using Carousel. This is my go-to. I put this on the heels of my feet and on the, like, my, the ball, like, my toes after every shower. Then I put a pair of socks on that I wear for a couple hours. This game, game, game changer for never having cracked, yucky feet again. Like, I haven't had cracked feet in years I have because I've started using this. It is an, it's a miracle working thing and I will always have this. I have one already. I will always repurchase this and I always get it on Amazon. Okay, two makeup. I'm so excited. I don't go through makeup that easily. I went through a Koki eyebrow pencil. I love this eyebrow pencil. I think it's one of the best out there and it's so inexpensive. Love this. So I have, I've, went through one of those and I did use up a grande mascara. I liked this mascara. I got it last winter so it took me a while to get through it. I probably should have thrown it away a long time ago but I think this is a good mascara. Would I repurchase it? Probably not unless it's really on sale. There's just so many amazing drugstore mascaras I don't think that I necessarily have to use this. And I actually think it's a pretty small bottle. Most mascaras are bigger than this. Through a Grande Lash Serum and a Grande Brow, but this one was a small one. I use these on my lashes and on my brows. I've been using them for more than a year now. I think there's a massive difference with these and I have some in my backup drawer. Yeah. I love these products. I think this is one of the game changers for making your eyebrow, my eyebrows and my eyelashes look good. Sometimes I go through products that I absolutely love and I wanna show you them, but I don't use them up that fast. So definitely watch some of my yahoos and boos. Those are the things that I love and some of the things that I didn't love recently. I'm gonna link two of them right here. I will see you in one of those or another one. God bless.